What's going on, y'all? I want to show you the multiband compressor in Studio One. Uh, it's a really unique multiband compressor, and I'm going to show you how I'm using it on this mix that I'm working on. Uh, let's first go over what a multiband compressor is. A multiband compressor is a compressor that allows you to compress certain ranges of frequencies through a signal. So the Studio One compressor is a five band multiband compressor. You've got your low, low mid, mid, high mid, and highs. It's five bands. The low, you see as I move it, you're changing the range of the low and low mid and so on. Oh, below that you've got mute, you've got solo, and you've got bypass, which is for that particular band. And this section here is the meter section, so the range low, this adjusts how low your range is for your meter. So if I select 120 dB, it's going to show me signal all the way down uh, to 100 dB. I normally keep mine at uh, a negative 48 and the high is the same thing but just for the the ceiling. So 0 dB you can add a plus 12 so you can see over 0 dB. So this all has to do with the metering. What's the range that you want to see for the metering of your signal? And this knob here, or button here, of course, turns the metering on and off. Now, getting into the controls over here, you got a low threshold and a high threshold. Uh, be honest and don't really understand the high threshold here. Uh, however, the ratio, if we move the ratio and move the, the low threshold, uh, you'll notice you get more of a you know, common compressor knee in the graph that you see here. And as I'm turning the ratio, you can see red coming in on the, the diagram here on the left. And what that is, is that signals a uh, gain reduction. And if you see green, that's gain. So green is gain and red is reduction. And clever. So let's put my gain back to zero. Your auto speed here turns to an automatic attack and release and your edit all relative what that does is allows you to make changes across all the bands. So you'll see as I'm adjusting the ratio, it's doing it for all the bands. But if I unselect it, now I can only edit each individual band. And the rest of the compressor, you've got your standard knee control. Uh, the gain on the far right, this deals with just uh, the output, while this section here deals with uh, just that current band and you've got your mix knob for wet and dry. Uh, one of the things that makes this compressor really unique is that it allows you to go to negative ratios <clears throat> for expanding. So let's take a look at how I'm using it in this mix. So I have I have a, a phrase here in this hook that's two syllabant words. I'm going to bypass the compressor here and let you hear it. She say I got her. She say I got her. So you can hear that's really syllabant. She say I got her. She say. So normally when I have back-to-back -back syllabant words like that, uh, sometimes a de just doesn't do it for me because by the time the first syllabant word causes the de to react, it's so fast in releasing that it doesn't catch the second word. So for this, I use the multiband compressor. I'm going to only compress just the high end where that sibilance is, and I'm going to set it to a really long release. Therefore, when he says she say, after he says she and the compressor starts to react with a long release, when he says say, the compressor will still be compressing. So what I've done is an 8 to 1 ratio. I've got a really fast attack at 1 millisecond and I'm going to, just so you can watch me dial in this release what I'm talking about, I'm going to set the release as long as I can and I've got my threshold at a negative 30. So, and you can see here, this is the gain reduction that I'm getting. I, I like that with this compressor I can see how much uh, gain reduction I'm going to get uh, before it happens. So, 
I'm going to press play. I've got this soloed and I've got it bypassed. And I'm going to let it play a few times. Then I'm going to bring the compressor in and then we'll adjust the release uh, so we can correct this sibilant vocal. She say I got her. She say I got her. Let's bring in the compressor now. She say I got her. She say I got her. As you can hear, it's starting to get dark because I'm compressing a lot of the high end, but that release is so long that it's really holding on to that high end, keeping it compressed. So let's ease up off the compression. Let's let's come down to one second. I have an idea where I want to be with this, but we'll try one second right now. She say I got her. She say I got her. All right, it's getting there, and I'm watching my gain reduction meter here. So. When he says she, I'm really wanting say to be compressed as well. So that's why I'm using the long release, and that's what I'm watching for. She say I got her. She say I got her. I'm going to come down. Let's try. Let's try about 800. She say I got her. That's getting there. Let's come down just a little bit more. She say I got her. I think that's it. So now let's bring this in and out. I'm going to bypass it and you'll hear it with the sibilants and then I'm going to engage the multiband compressor uh, so you can hear how it's squashing that S sound there. She say I got her. With the compressor? She say I got her. So the multiband compressor is really cleaning that up for me. I've got the release set where I want it to where it's compressing the second S word and then getting out of the way. Uh, let's take a listen to it in the mix now. She say I got a bank roll in my pocket, big loud sack of that broccoli. She say I got a bank roll in my pocket. And then let's uh, take a listen to it with the compressor out. She say I got a bank roll in my pocket. She say I got a bank. You can you can hear with the compressor out that S is really sticking out a lot. Now you could also use this on the low end of the frequency spectrum to remove plosives. Um, if you have strong uh, plosives in a vocal, you know, strong words that start with P or B, uh, you can use a multiband compressor to compress just uh, maybe 200 hertz, 300 hertz, 350. Just you have to sweep around and find out where that plosive is. But you know, compressing just that that band. Uh, that will help remove plosives uh, in a vocal. You don't want to compress it too much because then it'll start to sound thin because that frequency where the plosive is is also the frequency where uh, warmth and the low mids are. So uh, you want to be careful about that. Uh, so that's one use for the multiband compressor. Another way I use multiband compressor is you can solo uh, the bands. So I put the multiband compressor over my mix bus sometimes not necessarily to use it for compression, but just use it to solo the band so I can hear what's going on in between each band. If I want to hear what's in my lows, I can solo just the lows and I can hear just that. If I want to hear what's in my mid-range, I can solo just the mid-range and hear just that. Uh, so the multiband compressor is a very useful tool. All right, I'll catch you all next time.